the best way to listen to digital is never, ever, ever listen to analog. My name is Steve Guttenberg and I am the Audiophiliac. You know, Harry Pearson made this observation many, many years ago, actually at the beginning of the digital age, and it's still sort of true. The best way to listen to digital is never listen to analog. What that means is, if you, it, you can enjoy digital on its own perfectly well, but once you listen to analog, good analog on a good turntable, going back, to digital after that great analog experience seems kind of tame, seems kind of lifeless, nah, it's not quite happening. My friend Herb Reichert more recently made the observation that digital at its very best starts to sound like analog. But no one ever ever says that analog at its best starts to sound like digital. Think about that, that's really really interesting, you know. Digital has a lot of things going for it. It's very transparent, it's very clear and everything, but it seems to be lacking something. The something that analog has. Why that's so? I really, really, really don't know. And analog, as I've said many times before, is highly, 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 highly imperfect. But digital is, uh, as they used to say, is automatically perfect. It's perfect sound forever. But that perfection somehow is, is more of a technical perfection. Their soul of the music is lacking. Something is lacking. Something isn't there in digital. And that's why no one ever says that analog at its best starts to sound like digital. It'd be going in the wrong direction. Anyway, enough of my thoughts for today. Um, please leave your thoughts in the comments section. If you like these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And um, that's it. See you next time. Bye.